so much, David. So for today, we have a really special treat for you guys. We have been doing, as David mentioned, lots of West Coast interviews, San Diego, LA, but for today's interview, we flew all the way to New York for our next guest. And he is a very exciting guest. Some of you may know him as Mr. Freeze on Gotham. Or the ill-fated Meacham from House of Cards. Our guest for today is Mr. Nathan Darrow. I had a quick question because you brought up House of Cards and you were mentioning earlier that you were kind of intimidated when you worked with David Fritz. How did you feel yeah. the first time you had to do a scene with Kevin Spacey? Oh, well, um, the first time I had to do a scene with Kevin Spacey was not in House of Cards. It was uh, in this play that we did. It was a production of Richard III that went around oh. the world. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. That, this is what like led to me being on House of Cards. Hi, guys. How are you guys tonight? Hi. Hey, we're awesome. Are you guys excited about the opening? We're very excited, very tired. <laughs> I, I bet. So my first question is, how did this collaboration come into existence? How did you guys get to know each other? Twitter. Really? Twitter? Yeah, we, we met on Twitter. <laughs> it was kind of this mutual admiration for each other's photography. You know, I, I just follow people whose work I love and admire, and I actually started following TJ because of his directing, and then didn't know he was a photographer at the time, but then he knew, noticed I was a photographer and followed me back, and then, you know, we realized we knew too many people in common and uh, became friends from there. So, so the interview's already begun. I'm here yeah. with Michelle and Vic. Michelle and Vic, can you tell our audience a little bit about yourselves? Oh, gosh. Well, uh, I run a party <laughs> island I'll wait over here. made of candy that kidnaps children and then forces them to ride unicorns People are watching and that. makes their dream come true. And I was one of the children she kidnapped. Now, I saw that you have the kids here tonight. Yes. And, you know, it is October and Halloween's really important to kids. What are y'all going as for Halloween? Uh, I think I'm going to go as creepy football coach. And then I think my son, Jack, might go as like zombie football player because he plays football. So we have all the equipment. So that way I don't have to, you know, spend a bunch of money because I'm cheap. And, uh, you know, I don't like kids. <laughs> Who does, really? Hello and welcome to the second installment of The Intellectual. I'm your host, Whitney Wegman, here with my co-host, David Dawson. How are you hey, today, David? I'm good. good. David and I recently went to New York and had a whirlwind day of interviews. And one of the ladies that we got to interview was Miss Joy Donzi. We got to interview her at the theater where she was performing Merchant of Venice. This was at the Secret Theater. And then we both got to see the show. Yeah. So have you been doing pretty much theater in New York, or have you done a little film TV? I saw um, something about, was it a celebrity ghost story? I or? did do that. Hello, I'm Whitney Wegman with Intellectual News, covering The Stand with Standing Rock Escondido. I'm here with Chief Delbert Black Fox Pamani. How are you today, Chief? I'm doing fine. And how are you? I'm doing pretty well. I've been enjoying The Stand with Standing Rock event. It's been a wonderful day, and now I get to interview you. 